This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. I'm at Imphal Valley, the center stage of Manipur politics. Six months ago, when the assembly was set on fire on the issue of territorial integrity, it was inconceivable that elections could be held in the state. Even today, the polls are under the threat from scores of militant outfits operating here. 120 companies and nine battalions of security forces are at work. But no one finds the image of democratic elections being held under massive military presence anomalous. Indeed, in some ways, insurgencies here have been themselves incorporated into the democratic political process. Elections in Manipur is so uniquely different from the rest of the country. No life-size cutouts, no loudspeakers, few banners and posters. It's a personality-driven electoral politics where parties or party symbols have little influence over voters. The presence of underground groups on one hand and massive security presence on the other leave behind a sense of uneasy calm. Radha Binod Kojam of the Samta Party, the last chief minister, and Congressman Rishan Keshing, Manipur's chief minister for three terms, are the names that people come up with as their choice of the next chief minister. We will spend the next 48 hours with these two candidates. Exactly a year ago, I was here when Radha Binod Kojam was getting ready for swearing in as a chief minister. Kojam has always been a second man in Manipur politics, till he had overthrown Nipa Macha Singh, joined the Samata, polarizing all the defectors to form a new government. A whole new series of political twists and turns saw him out of office in three months, followed by the president's rule and the volatile Naga ceasefire issue, which left every street of Manipur burning. Kojam, along with his colleagues, had fled then. Now he's back as Samata's projected chief ministerial candidate. C one zero four eight six. Another number is four one zero six double two. Uh, can you move out freely because you know your uh, residence was also attacked I think yeah about a fortnight back so, I, I'm moving you are moving freely. yes so have you been able to buy peace with the insurgents and I mean? no they whenever they this thing there is no question of buying peace whenever they want to do mischief they do it we're also I'm also taking precautions I'm taking my escort and uh, uh, my people, we don't know what they would do and when they would do. Well, have they asked you for some kind of a ransom or something like that, or, or your party? Party SS, I do not know, but uh, they are asking a payment from different people, different candidates. Uh, would you agree with that point that there are organizations out here, overground organizations out here with underground uh, links? There may be, it cannot be said for everyone, but there may be some who may be having. But then the situation is such that the infiltration of the insurgents in the society today in Manipur has become very wide and deep. And the government of India uh, should have done something. This election should have been held after creating a ground situation for a free and fair poll. So you have doubt that uh, the actually a free and fair poll will take place at all? It is not a question of my doubt. Is anybody confident that there will be free and fair election in the state? When with so much of violence today, have you read the local papers? So many, uh, the, so many uh, the candidates have been attacked, houses have been attacked, fired upon. Where is the situation, atmosphere for a free and fair poll? Then shall we go there? Mm. Mm. Oh, for a, just, come, let's come. Yeah. Uh, 
Come, please go. Yeah. Oh, one, two. Uh, can you do? Oh, that's it. Uh. Lo, can you do it? Can you do it? Can you do it? Oh. Ma uh, Maggie, can you do? How to record the right. words to explain. Mm -hmm. So let him go on speaking. I'll explain to you okay. for some time. We are taking this uh, uh, dummy paper, mm -hmm. dummy ballot paper, mm -hmm. and we'll be explaining. <coughs> Because this is something new, electronic voting machine, use of the electronic voting machine is uh, the, for the first time here. So we have to explain to the voters how to vote, how to cast his or her vote. <coughs>